Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Lover. Before we dive into today's exciting topic, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, check out the subtitles in the different color above for clarity on key points. Alright, let's jump right into it. How does AI really work? Imagine you have a super smart assistant who not only listens to you but also learns from everything that goes around. That's kind of what artificial intelligence or AI is like. It's a technology that mimics human intelligence, making decisions, solving problems, and even understanding language. Now, at the core of AI is something called machine learning. This is where the magic happens. Machine learning allows the AI to learn from data. It's like teaching a child through examples instead of rules. You show it thousands or even millions of pictures of cats, and it learns to identify what a cat looks like by finding patterns in the data. But how does it actually learn? It uses algorithms, specifically neural networks which are inspired by the human brain. These networks have layers of nodes and each node is like a tiny detective that picks up on different details. Some might focus on colors, others on shapes. As data passes through each layer the network gets better at making predictions. Now training these models requires a lot of data and computing power. That's why you often hear about AI requiring big servers and lots of energy. This training phase is critical because the more it learns, the smarter it gets. However, it's not just about feeding data. There's also a phase called deep learning. Deep learning is a subtype of machine learning but with deeper capabilities. It can recognize speech, translate languages, and even drive cars. This happens in deeper or more complex neural networks that can capture a vast range of data nuances. To sum up, AI works by using machine learning and deep learning to process and learn from data, allowing it to make decisions and perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. That's a wrap for today's discussion, folks. I hope now you have a clearer understanding of the fascinating world of AI. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video if you found it informative. And if you have any questions or topics you want us to cover, drop them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.